Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I'm particularly excited tonight because we are going to be talking about a new game on the channel here, which is World Breakers Advent of the Kane. And yeah, this is very exciting to me. I actually only just found out about this game very recently within the past week, and that was from a guy named Marcel on the Star Wars LCG Discord channel, and he just... He saw me talking, making a comment actually about Netrunner and how much I enjoy the system of Netrunner and how Netrunner functions and the core systems of that game. And he suggested that I might be interested in this game because the designer Ellie is a, well actually he still plays Netrunner, but a, a big Netrunner player for a long time. And he's actually stated that his inspiration for this game, um, he's gained inspiration from the Netrunner system in terms of how he designed this game. I've heard a lot of people comparing this game to sort of a cross between the um, the push and pull and the economic choices of Netrunner combined with a, a Magic the Gathering style, playing characters down, attacking, defending, and obviously a lot of other games have that as well. But that's just the comparison I've seen people making. And yeah, I'm very excited about this game. Uh, so Marcel mentioned it. I started looking into it, and as soon as I started looking into it, I actually became really struck by how polished this game looks in terms of the game, all the way from the game system to the card templates and layouts and the art. And it all seems very polished. The designer Ellie seems very friendly and approachable. And this is just something I'm really excited to show off today because, yeah, like myself, or you, like myself, previously before Marcel mentioned this game to me, you might just not be aware of that. So I'm really excited to be able to show this off, and uh, hopefully we can get some hype going as the Kickstarter, like I said, is coming March 1st. So that is only a few days away. So um, yeah, that was another reason why I wanted to make this video right now, is that I want the video to have enough time to breathe on the channel so that people have time to come across it. Uh, before the Kickstarter even begins, and then even going into the Kickstarter because, you know, I don't want someone to miss out on the Kickstarter for this game just because maybe they haven't checked the channel in a while. And yeah, I just wanted to get this up as soon as possible. So I don't want to drag this video on too long. I really just want to be introducing the game and making you guys aware of it if you're not already because, yeah, I've been thoroughly impressed with everything I've seen so far. So this is something I certainly have my eye on. Um, as of now, I intend to back the Kickstarter. I've actually been getting quite excited about the game, and I'm really looking forward to seeing um, how the Kickstarter looks, what they're offering, what any kind of um, stretch goals or add-ons might look like, and yeah, it's just a really exciting time in terms of this game. So, without further ado, what is World Breakers Advent of the Conate about? Well, who better to hear from than the write-up on their website here? And yeah, I'll throw a link to uh, the World Breakers website in the description below. And um, yeah, you can go access that and browse through it on, on your own time if you'd like to. So, it is late 13th century and history is altered by the rise of World Breakers, individuals who harness the mysterious substance Mythium to magnify their natural talents. The Mongol princess Kutulan, a World Breaker and a descendant of the great Kingis Khan, is... Uh, reuniting the distant tribes of the Mongol Empire. But other factions are rising to oppose her, each with their own agenda. Clash with your opponent in World Breakers, a fast-paced, customizable two-player card game. Draft your deck from a selection of over 100 cards representing four unique guilds. Recruit followers to control the board and develop location cards to gain power. The first player to reach 10 power wins, forever reshaping history. So, let's see if we can zoom in. Oh, it actually kind of enhanced, became clear. Yeah, so the locations look absolutely beautiful. I really love how they did these cards uh, or have these cards oriented horizontally. The art, I've just been thoroughly impressed. I really love the art style they've gone with in this game. I, I absolutely adore it. I think the cards look gorgeous. I love their like first player board here that you flip it and it's a little different on the other side so that um, the first opening markers on, on this side for that player to go first if it's you flipped it as their turn to. Um, yeah, it just looks really good. Um, I don't know if these are the card backs are going to be, if they're just prototype ones or these are the final, but yeah, I'm just, I know I've said it already a couple times now, but I'm just thoroughly impressed with how polished and clean this game looks. 
and it seems to be a very polished and clean system as well. So let's see. Here are the like little specs here. So the game is for one to two players. You know, if you're a solo player, that's very exciting. I know from I've joined their Discord, I've joined their Discord, and uh, I've seen Ali, the designer, speaking talking a little bit about the solo uh, campaign that there is. I've heard good things about that, and yeah, just a, a way to play solo is all is always great. Um, because you know, if it's in addition to the game itself, you either don't use it and play the game itself, and that's fine. It's there for you if you want it. But it also provides people, you know, if you can't find players to still enjoy the game, enjoy your cards, get into the game, use your collection. And though, then through playing that way, you know, maybe you gain enough confidence with the game and the system to um, get out to your local store and find players or maybe hop into an online game. So just um, another way to experience the game, which is awesome. As long as, you know, the solo play isn't... And, and this is where I think designers do have to be careful. I know Team Covenant has talked about this on one of their podcasts, but you do have to be a bit careful in the sense that you don't want to stretch yourself too thin in terms of, oh, too much design time's going into the solo mode. Now the two the head-to-head two-player game isn't as polished as it could be. I don't think that's the case here, but that's just the one hesitation I would have in regards to uh, competitive head-to-head two-player guard games having a solo mode. I, I don't think that's the case here, but again, that is something I need to say because that is my opinion on that. Um... Then, uh, ages 14 plus, 30 minutes, and I'm not exactly sure what those dimensions are for, if that's for the cards. I don't know. I don't know. Moving along. So, yeah, here we have one of the location cards, again, oriented horizontally. That looks excellent. Um, The camel statues look really gorgeous. So, develop locations for resources and power. I really like the whole location element of this game that, you know, you're building locations, which is increasing your power and your renown within the region and your um, really, you know, sort of building up, I don't know if infrastructure is the right word, but just in terms of your power, in terms of what your um, group is accomplishing. So recruit followers to attack your opponent and defend your board. And this is where the sort of Netrunner system comes into play here, where it's you have essentially four clicks or four actions you can take on your turn, but you do go back and forth. And I love the modern game design of shifting towards this back and forth play, not the whole, I took my turn, now I'm going to sit back while you take your turn, and I hope you don't wreck me right now. It's it, that interplay between I take an action, you take an action, um, I think adds a lot It makes the games a lot more engaging, generally speaking, in the sense that you're always on your toes. You're always trying to respond to what your opponent just did. And yeah, I I think that's excellent. 7C City of Five Sales has that as well. And that's something I really love about that game, having uh, done a lot of testing on that. That's a excellent feature of that game. So I'm excited to see them using it here as well. So play events for powerful one-time effects. So we have event cards in the game. And then there's Tabletopia, so you can actually hop uh, hop onto Tabletopia and experience this game right now if you're really interested in it. You can join the Discord. Uh, if you already have Tabletop Simulator downloaded, you can get this um, World Breakers from the Workshop there for free if you already have the Tabletop Simulator mod downloaded, which does cost money, but, um, you know, then you get lots of other games as well. There's a rule book here if you want to read through that. And you can sign up to the World Breakers mailing list to get up-to-date news, blog posts, and announcements about the game's development. So again, Kickstarter for this game coming March 1st. This is something I just wanted to bring to your guys' attention. There's a YouTube channel. They have content up there as well. Uh, If you are interested in the game, hop over and check that out. And I do have plans to cover the Kickstarter for this game because I I plan on backing it. I'm really excited about it. And yeah, if you... um, If you just happened upon this video and you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. I really should start saying this earlier in my videos, but yeah, it just, it just helps us keep making videos and we, we really appreciate it. We love to see that number tick up. Feel free to leave a comment below and like the video as well if you want to. That again helps out the YouTube algorithm in terms of having our videos recommended to people and just helping people come across our channel. So Uh, Yeah, doing that is a big help to us as well if you want to. And otherwise, until next time, take care and go check out World Breakers.